Let's see how to do the post order traversal of a binary tree using the recursive algorithm. So the idea is to start at the root node and then first visit the left subtree post order, then visit the right subtree post order, and finally visit the current node. So let's run through a quick example to demonstrate how this works. So we start with the root, and then we first want to visit the left subtree post order. So now we have root 2. Again, we want to visit everything on the left. And we have 4. Or when we go to the left, there is nothing there. So we're done. Then we need to visit everything on the right, but there's nothing there too. So we're done as well. So at this point, we can simply visit 4. So we're just going to print it. Once we're done with the 4, we're done with the left of 2. So now we can go to the right of 2. 5. We first visit everything on the left, there's nothing there. Then everything on the right, there's nothing there. And then we can visit the 5. Once we're done with the right of 2, we can finally visit the 2. And with that, we're done with the left of 1. So now we need to go to the right of 1. 3. First we go to the left, there's nothing there, then we go to the right. We have 6 here. So first we visit everything on the left. So 7. We first visit everything on the left, there's nothing there. Then everything on the right, there's nothing there. So then we can visit the 7. And so we're done with the left of 6, now we go to the right of 6. There's nothing there, so we're done with the right, so we can visit 6. And with that we're done with the right of 3, so we can visit 3. And we're done with the right of 1, so we can visit 1. So the result is 4, 5, 2, 7, 6, 3, 1, which is the post order traversal of this tree. Let's see how to implement this. So we're going to have a function called post order, which is going to take the address to the root node of the tree, and we're going to return nothing. So let's think of the base case. The base case occurs when root is null because this indicates that the tree is empty. So there is nothing to visit, so we can return immediately. So if root is null, we return. But if root is not null, then we first need to visit post order everything on the left. Then we need to visit post order everything on the right. And then finally, we can visit the current node, so we're just going to print it. And that's it. So let's run through this function in a, with our example binary tree. So we begin with passing in root. Root is 1. Again, root is not null. We call post order passing in the left child of 1, which is 2. Again, it's not null. We're going to call post order passing in the left child of 2, which is 4. It's not null. We call post order passing in the left child of 4, but the left child of 4 is null. So we hit this base case, and so this returns. Then we go to the right child of 4, which is also null. So again, we have the base case, so this returns. And at this point, we can print the 4. So left and right return for the 4. We can print the 4. 4 returns. 4 was the left of 2. So once the left of 2 returned, we go to the right of 2. The right of 2 is 5. It's not null. We call post order passing in the left child of 5, which is null, so we hit the base case. Then we pass in the right child of 5. Again, it's null, so we hit the base case. And at this point, we can print the 5. Five returns, and five was the right child of two. Once the right child of two returned, we can print the two. Two returns, and two was the left child of one. Once the left of one returned, we can go to the right of one. The right of one is three. 
it's not null so we're gonna go to the left the left of three is null so we're gonna hit the base case so this returns and we go to the right of three the right of three in this case is six it's not null we're gonna go to the left of six which is seven seven is not null we're gonna go to the left of seven which is null so this returns immediately then we're gonna go to the right of seven which is also null so this returns immediately and then we're gonna print the seven at this point the seven returns so once the left of six return we go to the right of six the right of six is null so this returns immediately and at this point we can print the six and the six returns and six was the right of three so once the right of three has returned we can print the three and three returns and three was the right of one and once the right of one returned we can print the one So what is the time complexity? This function will be called in total at least n times because we know that we will print every node in the tree exactly once. But every single of those calls will result in two calls. So in total, there will be two n calls. n of those calls will be non-null nodes, which we will end up printing. And the remaining n calls will be base cases. Now, whether it's a base case, or not, we do a constant amount of work. So the time complexity will simply be O of n. What about the space complexity? The space complexity, because this is a recursive function, will depend on how many functions will there be at the same time, because every single function will take a constant amount of space. And as it calls itself recursively, those functions too take some space. and uh, this function will not return until the function that it called returns. So in the worst case, how many sense functions there will be? Again, it will simply be the height of the tree because once we reach the leaf node, these functions start to return. And in the worst case, the leaf node will go as deep as the height of the tree. So we can say that the space complexity is of age.